everybody. So today I'm just kind of walking out where we had this uh, cover crop that we grazed off. Just trying to see if I see any rye that's coming up yet, which obviously it's still a little early. But I kind of wanted to take a look at there's a radish that was chewed off by the cows. Here's another radish. But I just kind of want to come out and see what those look like. Um, there is a rye coming out of the ground. You guys see it? <clears throat> that, uh, It gives me hope. This was planted late. You know, when I came back out and replanted rye, what makes me nervous is the center strip where I picked that corn off. I never saw that germinate last fall. Um, this corn field up by the road. And where I took the beans off, across the road, I never saw any of that rye germinate come out of the ground last fall. So it really has me nervous whether or not it's going to grow. Um, and if it does grow, is it going to elongate like it should or is it just going to kind of be like short grass? Um, it's kind of got me nervous. And then this rye that was planted after chopping corn it's got this sick yellow look to it. I am seeing some green in there, but I see a lot more yellow. So I'm just kind of walking out here to see what it looks like. I guess it's going to be the first crop update of the year. If you're not first, you're last, right? But this is not here. It's drier. This is sand. It doesn't take long for my sand to dry up. You can see there's still water running right there. But today is it's right around 50, and it's cloudy. They're talking. There's a chance of rain today. But then tomorrow is supposed to be sunny again and they're all the same temperature wise. And looking ahead the next five days, there's a bunch of days that uh, look like they're going to be in the 50s with no freezing at night. So above freezing, which that's not going to be very good for the folks that are collecting maple syrup, or collecting sap, I should say. But, uh, you know, dang things. If only I had as many cows as I have, have deer on this farm. Um, but, the way the forecast looks, like I say, 50s, above freezing at night, a couple nights. There are still nights that are showing below freezing down to 18 a couple nights but uh, pretty sure all this white stuff is probably going to be gone by the end of the week I'm sure up in the woods there will still be some but I think by next week we're gonna have a better idea on what our rye situation is maybe not the fields that weren't growing last fall but these like this where I chopped corn off in the bottom field where I chopped corn off I think we're gonna have a better idea on what the situation with that rye is gonna be because we get a couple days of 50 degrees and um, we get the snow out of here and get some of this ground dried up a little bit so this rye doesn't have wet feet uh, I think it's gonna Think it's going to change fast. Well, here we're seeing some pretty decent green, but then we also see patches of that where it's really yellow. 
so I'm kind of nervous that it's not going to grow as good as it should now a lot of the issue was we didn't get any snow really until end of January and of course February we got all of our snow and that deer fertilizer so before that though we had over two inches of rain that froze on top of the ground so I think there's gonna be a lot of crops like alfalfa and such that died off because of ponding and then freezing and the sand mine just a couple miles away they said that they had frost in December four and a half foot deep so we'll see what happens I'm kind of like I say I'm kind of nervous this rye isn't gonna do very good but I think in a week we're gonna know we'll have a better idea what it's gonna do <clears throat> so what I do know for sure is that my boot has a hole in it so this little excursion wasn't all for nothing <laughs> but, but yeah the snow is melting it's running really good today even for it being cloudy it's the snow is really melting so so yeah like I say just first update of the year kind of walking around taking a look at this stuff I mean it's I really have faith that it's going to uh, perk up and come alive I just I have a little bit of doubt though that that yellower stuff might be gone but don't know for sure that's why I want to come out here and make a video of this now here we've got a nice nice patch of green stuff in here I don't see a whole lot of yellow in it so that's a little reassuring and of course that over there is basically all underwater right now because the water run is a little bit higher than that field the water run was designed to carry all the water from the properties behind me through here without it just kind of flooding out this whole area so uh, box blade the guy could pull behind a track would probably work to feather that out a little bit to get more water run down the water run but there's only so much a guy can do but but anyways, like I say, this is just kind of a first crop update of the year. Um, kind of make this video more for myself than anybody else. So years to come, if we experience this again, I can look back at this video and be like, oh yeah, I remember back in the spring of 19 when the rye looked like that? Yeah, it, it, it grew out of it, it came, or yeah, it's it didn't come, you better start planning something else. So, I do have a speaking engagement on Tuesday. So, I think I'm going to buy a three-point spinner spreader. Because the big spreader that I have is very awkward and bulky and not the easiest to hook to the tractor. And I think I'm going to stop at Fleet Farm and buy one of those King Cutter brand spinner spreaders. And I think on that seven acres across the road that I did not get seated after we bailed corn stalks off, I think I'm going to uh, go over there and broadcast some winter rye and see how it does. Um, when the shed fell, my gravity box is sitting kind of kitty corner from where the that roof come down and some of the seed got wet, so I'm going to try and scrape that stuff off the top of my good seed and we'll go broadcast it on that field. And with the way it's looking, it's not probably going to be frost seeded. It's just broadcast seeded. And the rain is probably going to push it in the ground or give it the seed to soil contact. But who knows, it's still early. 
Uh, it's not uncommon for us to get a bunch of snow in April, so maybe it'll germinate. It'll get some snow on its back, and I don't know if that'll be enough for it to vernalize and make it so it'll elongate or not, but it's worth a shot. I've got a gravity box three quarters of the way full of seeds, so um, I know it's been suggested to broadcast oats. Problem with that is I don't have oats anywhere on the farm and I'm not gonna go buy seed just for a trial so um, I've got the rye seed and I've got plenty of it so that's what I'm going to do you don't know if you don't try so I am going to try but worse comes to worse if it doesn't if it doesn't grow tall enough we'll just burn it down before we plant the next crop at least they'll have created a rut, a little bit of top forage, so that'll be uh, better than nothing. But anyways, first crop day update of the year. The only thing we really discovered is that I have a hole in my boot. Anyways, thanks for watching everybody. Stay tuned for more. Hope you're all having a great day. So, thanks again, and we'll catch you on the next one. don't need to do tillage to aerate my soil. <laughs> That's what the worms do for you if you don't till the soil and ruin all their tunnels. That is water going in the ground and air coming out of the ground. Cover crops, no-till, worms, all over. No reason to till the ground. Let the roots till the ground, let the worms work the ground. You got it made. You just got to give it the time that it requires. Now, on a nice day, when you get heavy rains, and there's water running across the ground, or the ground is saturated, you can walk along and hear the sound of Rice Krispies underneath your feet as you're walking, and that is air bubbles coming up through the water that is going through the ground, following all the worm tunnels and all the voids in the ground where roots have dried up, that's water infiltrating the ground, Going down to where it needs to be, you know, that's healthy soil.